The comprehensive reports highlight the prevailing challenges of security in Africa and the way forward, including the implementation of what the African Union calls Master Roadmap of Practical Steps Towards Silencing the Guns. For President Muhammad Buhari, truncating democracy should also be considered as part of the gravest challenges facing the continent. In his submission during the closed session, the president noted with concern that the AU response, including sanctions, have not achieved their objectives of restoring democratic order in the affected countries and deterring potential coupists. He therefore suggested, amongst others, an adequately resourced and sustainable peace fund as well as the full operationalization of the continental and regional logistic bases and the Africa standby force. He said the finalization of the AU comprehensive strategy for countering terrorism in Africa should also be expedited. In the meantime, Nigeria has been re-elected into the African Union Peace and Security Council for another three-year mandate to represent the West African sub-region. The country is so far the only one that has sustained the membership of the Peace and Security Council since the inception of the organization in 2004. And on the sidelines of the AU summit, President Muhammad Buhari granted audience to the Prime Minister of the State of Palestine, Mohamed Shitaye. He said Nigeria will continue to pursue peace and progress in Africa and other parts of the world by consistently pushing for justice, fairness and inclusiveness in global affairs. The President assured the Prime Minister that the country also remains unwavering in supporting democracy, development and good governance, particularly in pushing for the tenets of justice as well as the rights of individuals and institutions. Prime Minister Shitaye, who commended President Buhari for his leadership role in Africa, told him that the situation in the Middle East, particularly relations with Israel, had deteriorated over the years, adding that the world needs to know the facts. From Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.